the reading is from St. John Cassian on the eighth vices. I'm going to go to the very last vice of St. John Cassian. Uh, it's on pride, so this is what the text reads. It's in Philokalia, Volume 1. Our eighth struggle is against the demon of pride, a most sinister demon, fiercer than, fish, fiercer than all that I've been discussed up till now. He attacks the perfect above all and seeks to destroy those who have mounted almost to the heights of holiness. Just as a deadly plague destroys not just one member of the body, but the whole of it, so pride corrupts the whole soul, not just part of it. Each of the other passions that troubles the soul attacks and tries to overcome the single virtue which is opposed to it, and so it darkens and troubles the soul only partially. But the passion of pride darkens the soul completely and leads to its utter downfall. In order to understand more fully what is meant by this, we should look at the problem in the following way. Gluttony tries to destroy self-control. Unchastity, moderation. Avarice, voluntarily, voluntary poverty. Anger, gentleness. And the other forms of vice, their corresponding virtues. But when the vice of pride but when the vice of pride has become master of our wretched soul, it acts like some harsh tyrant who has gained control of a great city and destroys it completely, raising it to its foundations. The angel who fell from heaven because of his pride bears witness to this. He had been created by God and adorned with every virtue and all wisdom, but he did not want to ascribe to this to the grace of the Lord, he ascribed it to his own nature, and as a result regarded himself as equal to God. The, re the prophet rebukes this claim when he says, You have said in your heart, I will sit in a high mountain, I will place my throne upon the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. Yet you are a man and not God. See for reference Isaiah 14, verse 13 through 14. And again, another prophet says, Why do you boast of your wickedness, O mighty man? And he continues in the same vein. Psalms 52, 1. Since we are aware of this, we should fear and guard our hearts with extreme care from the deadly spirit of pride. When we have attained some degree of holiness, we should always repeat to ourselves the words of the apostle, Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me, See for reference, 1 Corinthians 15, 10. As well as what was said by the Lord, without me you can do nothing. You can do nothing. John 15, 5. We should also bear in mind what the prophet said, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Uh, Psalms 127, 1. And finally, it does not depend on man's will or effort, but on God's mercy. Romans 9, 16. Even if someone is sedulous, serious, and resolute, he cannot, so long as he is bound to flesh and blood, approach perfection except through the mercy and grace of Christ. James himself says that every good gift is from above. James 1, 17. While the Apostle Paul asks, What do you have which you do? What do you have which you did not receive? Now, if you received it, why do you boast as if you have not received it? For 1 Corinthians 4, 7. What right then has man to be proud as though he could achieve perfection through his own efforts? The thief who received the kingdom of heaven, though not as a, the reward of virtue, is a true witness to the fact that salvation is ours through the grace and mercy of God. All of our Holy Fathers knew this, and all with one accord teach that perfection is, and holiness can be achieved only through humility. Humility, in its turn, can be achieved only through faith, fear of God, gentleness, and the shedding of all possessions. It is by means of these that we attain perfect love through the grace and compassion of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory through all the ages. Amen. This is... Um, St. John Cassian on the Eighth Vices, if it's Faber and Faber that you're reading from the Philokalia Volume 1, it's on page 92 through 93. I hope that you got some edification out of this.
through St. John Cassian. I know I did. I read all on the Eighth Vices, and it is just completely amazing, and I recommend it, and it'll help you grow in your spiritual growth. Um, glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Um, I hope that uh, that y'all stay blessed and safe in the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.